Hello folks, this is Ray Warda, creator of Be Extraordinary, The Ultimate Achievement, a system to create extraordinary results, and founder and CEO of Advanced Business and Marketing, a marketing, business, and real estate consultancy firm. In today's video, I want to show you a Google Plus tip on how to create polls on Google Plus to increase engagement, of course. And I've been a big advocate of social media marketing and one aspect of social media marketing that I've always pushed on is Google Plus because Google Plus of course is owned by guess who else Google and anything that Google does I always say you must be involved in or you must at least know what to do with it because social media is gonna be changing search engine optimization is definitely changing especially with Google leading the search engine optimization you would want to know what Google wants and of course YouTube being a Google product Google Plus being a Google product you want to get to know, know those two definite things so today's video we're gonna be discussing or talking about I'm gonna be showing you a step-by-step -step thing on how to create a poll uh, there's a couple of ways to do it you can either do it manually or you can do it automatically or automated um, by using an extension on Google Chrome and I choose to show you today on the automated one because that's always good automation is key um, to achieve extraordinary results in your business because it frees you up to do other things but uh, keep in mind this tool creates increased engagement and will help you uh, set polls and and you know questions and stuff like that to uh, get that interaction going with your audience uh, please keep in mind as well, I am actually going to be doing a workshop solely on Google Plus uh, coming up on May 10th. It's a Saturday. It's going to be about a five to six hour workshop in the morning to the afternoon. I highly urge anyone that is in social media marketing or has not gotten into social media marketing to attend this workshop. This is going to be a hands on step by step workshop showing you all the ins and outs of Google Plus. It's pretty much for the beginner or intermediary, and I might get into a little bit of advanced features as well, but I wanna get the information out to you as much as possible during that five uh, or six hours that we spend together. So please be prepared to bring your laptops at this workshop, get ready to start working. Uh, you must have already created a Google Plus profile because we want you there uh, ready to go so that way we can get into your logins and, and just go ahead and, and show you exactly how to do some, some neat stuff with Google+. Plus. So with that being said, there's more information on that workshop uh, coming up in the immediate future. Um, and again, it's Saturday, May 10th. Uh, it starts at 9 a.m. Uh, visit www.raywarda.com and you'll see it on your screen down here on below. And uh, you'll also get some more information on that workshop by clicking, uh, by visiting uh, that link. But in the meantime, let's check out this great tip on how to create a poll on Google+. Hang in there, folks. Okay, so let's begin. The first thing you want to do is you want to open up your Google Chrome browser. Once you open up your Google Chrome browser, you want to go to the drop-down menu over here and click on that. And you want to scroll down to where it says Tools. When you get to tools, you want to click on extensions. When you click on extensions, it's going to list the current extensions that you have right now. Um, if you don't have any extensions, it'll tell you if you want to get more extensions. But I'm going to click here to get more extensions. Now I'm going to search for the extension that I already have installed on my Google Chrome. But for uh, illustrative purposes, I'm going to click on and, and type in do share because that's the name of the extension there. Click on enter and it takes me to the different extensions that are available and this is the extension that you want. This one that's called do share and you want to click on the free button of course right now because I already have it installed it's just going to show rate it but in your case it's going to show a plus and it's going to say free because it's a free extension. You click on that and it automatically uh, adds the uh, extension to your Google Chrome. Once it does that, you should be seeing a yellow box like right up here where it says do share ready. So that means it's ready to go. So now what I want to do is I want to log into my Google Plus account. So let's do that. Okay, so I'm in my Google Plus account and I'm going to go ahead and click on the yellow box right here. 
this takes me to a to creating a new post so I'm going to click on that now I want to create a, um, a poll and this poll title always has to be bolded that's what you want to do and another uh, tip or trick in Google Plus which is kind of um, very different than all the other um, all the other social media sites you can actually bold a title and by clicking on the shift and then the 8 button which gives you the asterisk and then you just type in a title so let's just say I want to ask a poll on how many of you or let's just ask how long have you been using Google Plus and then we're going to end it with another asterisk because that's our cue to make it bold and in the subheading uh, screen you want to write down let's just say pick your answer below by plus oneing it and that's it now you can add people or you can you know make it public or you can add to add circles your extended circles if you've uh, created any circles of, of sort but I'm just gonna say it's gonna be a public thing now you want to also make sure that it is sh getting shared on either your profile page or your business pages which as you can see I have a business page set up I haven't finished it yet but uh, in this video it's just gonna be on my profile now the next thing I want to do is click on this check mark here this check mark will give me the drop down menu of my answers and it's going to automatically disable my comments which is the thing that you want to do you want to make sure your comments are disabled because you want to have people choose from those particular comments so in my first comment I'm gonna say how long have you been using Google Plus um, less than a year this next option will be more than a year this next one will be ever since it started it all started and let's just say those are the three options that you want to give them and that's what you want to base your poll on next you what you can do is either send it to drafts schedule it or share it now let's just say I want to send it to drafts and because I don't want to I don't want to um, schedule this right now or, or or share it it's just for demonstrative purposes I will click on send to drafts now guess what I've created my first poll and my post right now it's gonna show or when I ever you know post it uh, it's gonna show that now when I save it to drafts it's always gonna be in my do share extension here and it's going to have a number one because I have one draft saved, which is awesome. So it's going to show me. So if I ever leave here and I want to ever come back to it, all I have to do is click on it. It's going to show my drafts. If I ever I'm ready to post it, I click on it. Now it's all there. Now sometimes you will see one thing happen. Uh, you'll get this at null. And I always have to somehow delete it. And then I have to redo plus oneing it. And then I delete this part. Whoops. What happened? Come on now. Technology always gives you a um, left curve sometimes. Okay, so we're ready to go, and I want to go ahead and share it now. All you have to do is click on share now and it puts it automatically right on your Google Plus account. Now, let's just say we did that. It goes back. Here is my poll right here. And as you can see, on my comments, I have four polls. I have my, my poll asks, how often do you blog on your website? Well, it says, we'd love to know. Please plus one your answer below. So people that want to reply once a day, they would plus this. Two to, two to four times a week, they would plus this. Once a month, plus that. When I have some time, plus that. So it allows for engagement. Now, you also want to make sure that, that comments are disabled, which are automatically disabled with this feature. 
but you always want to go and click that link there and as long as it doesn't say disable comments it says enable comments which is good because the uh, the extension already automatically disabled the comments which is great you're all done so there you go there you have it folks that is the easiest way and most automated way to set up a poll via the do share extension which is an excellent extension that you can also use to schedule your posts if you ever wanted to schedule them uh, for the whole week or for the whole month excellent excellent tool definitely get it i hope this was very helpful for you again stay tuned for my um, workshop coming up on may 10th here in orange county california on uh, saturday may 10th i'll have more information on uh, on uh, my website as it comes along it is www.rayward.com and i hope you are having an excellent excellent day and week thank you very much and always be extraordinary my friends take care